Hey there YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Mikey speaking. Today I wanted to go over my mistakes and what I'm going to end up doing tomorrow. So I actually made a really big mistake by not following my stocks close enough. I could have gotten into better entries, example being I got into Tesla on an average of 450, it's sitting below 350. I'm down more than $100 a share. I'm down on Apple. In fact, when I show you my stock account, you'll see I am red on almost every stock. I'm down almost 20% in my account. And I want to give you what my mindset is being red 20% and what I'm going to be doing, honestly, from this point going to tomorrow for the rest of the week. So let's bring you over to my computer. So here you'll actually see my Webull account. There you go, I'm down 20.04%, down $500 on Tesla. I'm down a good amount on Apple as well, $33 on Apple. If you go into my IRA account, I'm down even more, so 35. I'm, like I said, I am completely red today, guys. It's no questions asked. So I don't have any free money currently in my Webull account. I have to deposit some more money, but I am not going to continue buying in my Webull account as far as tomorrow goes. What I'm actually going to do for two reasons. One, no cash in my Webull account. Two, I have a very busy day tomorrow is I'm going to set orders in my M1 finance account. I'm going to set $50 on Apple to go ahead and buy. Now you, in M1 Finance, you can actually buy part of the whole pie. So you just select on select on the individual slice. And you'll put your buy or sell order. So here I have $50 to buy of Apple and $50 to buy of Tesla. Since I won't be able to trade tomorrow, these will execute at 9.30 in the morning. Other than that, I am not doing any trading tomorrow unless stocks decide to rise to the moon tomorrow so that's more or less what I'm trading and my logic behind it is I got in in the wrong positions I could have done more research followed Tesla more closely looked at the stock sector I did not do that but that's also why I invest in quality companies I intend to keep for the next five years so I am currently down almost 20% I am not selling out of my positions. I'm going to hold them and just leave them there. If I gotta wait a week, two weeks, a month, I'm going to let them sit and ride on those positions. As I deposit more money, I'll start getting into more stocks, but I'll let that money sit until it hits my profit zone. I don't let red days scare me. I try to buy more and more each time the stocks start to go down. And the lesson learned that I can take from this is do more research prior to buying. I could have zoned out more, I could have gotten in better positions, but I am not worried. I'm investing and that's the biggest part. Hope this brings value. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, subscribe down there and hope you have a wonderful day.